My name is Isaac Murdoch and I'm from Nimki Ajbakong. I think indigenous spirituality is very personable to the person who's teaching it. So I think indigenous spirituality has to be taught by an indigenous person. I think that's the only way it can happen. Um, other than, if it's not done that way, then you're not getting a correct interpretation of it. And Indigenous people have very different understandings. So somebody might be, you know, very much into the stars. The other person might be into plants. And so there's a wide spectrum of what spirituality is. And each, t each teacher will have a different outlook on it. And so there's no generic, you know, template to teach Native spirituality. It doesn't exist. You know, so again, I think it's important to have Indigenous people teach Indigenous spirituality. You know, it's not going to come out right, and you're doing the injustice to the student, but you're also, um, you know, doing injustice to the, the Native people for doing so. Unless you have an Indigenous person there to teach it, don't touch it. So one of the gifts that we received from the land was a sabakashi, which is a dream catcher. And these dream catchers were very sacred to our people and they were a part of our bundles and they were used to, of course, you know, protect people from bad dreams and those types of things. They came with songs, they came with ceremonies and they're held in high regard. And so we'd like to make a call out you know, for, for people to not make them, you know, not to, to use them with their students because these things require a certain amount of teachings and guidance with Indigenous people. And so we ask that the non-Native teachers not do this with their students because these things are very sacred to us and we like to keep what they meant um, intact. We need to keep the integrity of these sacred items for our people. And so that's why we don't want people to, you know, make these, you know, because these are our gifts and they have a lot of meaning to us. And it's not right that, you know, that people are, are creating these, you know, especially in schools with their students. But when we have these sacred items, these come with a certain amount of respect. People have earned the right to do these things in our communities and they're knowledgeable. They know the songs, they know the ceremony. And so when people are, you know, just doing this as a class project, it takes away from, you know, the good hard work that our people are doing to maintain these things. And so we don't appreciate seeing people make dream catchers, um, you know, in schools or, you know, those types of things because it's, it's really disrespectful to our culture and to, you know, our teachings about these things. It goes against the natural thread you know, regarding our bundles when people do these things.